What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about Welcome to Dairy, the Pennywise prequel series that we know is coming or expected to be coming to HBO Max at some point in the near future. Uh, and we know also that this is going to be apparently set 27 years prior to the events of the first movie from 2017. So it's going to be a series that's working up to those events. So I'm, that's why I'm calling this our It Chapter 3. The closest thing I guess we're going to get to it at this point until they actually make a movie. Because they really could make a third movie. But they, I guess, would have to be working off of mostly just their own material at that point. Which I don't think many people will be in agreement with if it's not based on the source material from Stephen King. This video, though, is mostly yes, about Stephen King. Who seems to be expressing that he's not going to be involved with this upcoming prequel series. And he was on a podcast recently, The Losers the losers club podcast and i'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to listen to it he said when speaking about pennywise well i don't have a relationship to pennywise now because i have no intention of going back to it it's in the hands of people who are doing this andy and barbara muschietti are going to do welcome to dairy they're talking about it anyway and they've 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 got sort of a a handshake deal i think with hbo max he went on to say that it's an interesting possibility to do that They've talked about a prequel, which struck me as an okay idea. I'd love to see what Pennywise was up to 27 years before the 50s, or I guess it would be the 80s because they updated the setting. So it would be, you know, before World War II or something. It'll be interesting to see what will happen with that. And we know that, again, Welcome to Dairy is supposed to be a prequel to the Muschietti It movies. It's going to be telling the origin story of Pennywise the Clown, and it starts to, and, and the start of the 27-year curse. So... Going into the idea of it being in the 60s, the only thing I can think I'm thinking of they will re, they will go over is, you know, like the, the black spot incident. I'm hoping that they go over the black spot incident. I believe that was the incident in which, you know, he had something to do with white supremacy and, you know, something with Mike's Mike's grandfather or his father. I haven't read the book in so long. I haven't watched the movies recently either, but I'm hoping we see the black spot incident depicted in this series in some fashion now as far as like stephen king and his words here him not being involved i mean that's just for now because by the time this is all said and done he very well in he very well could end up being involved with this he's saying that he has no relationship to pennywise now and he has no intention of going back to it but again that's just for now things could always change do i think that he's going to be involved in it no not as of not as of what he's saying but i i do just also want to throw it out there who knows what could happen between now and then in terms of you know just the the best offer he couldn't resist and he decides he wants to you know do it come in give his input on certain things because i know some people would feel much, a lot better more confident about this for some reason if stephen king was around giving his input on what was happening with the prequel series because you know going off of this it doesn't seem like he has too much of an interest in it outside of you know just giving his blessing to those that are working on it and just being respectful to what they want to do with his ip and being grateful that people of course have an interest in continuing on the pennywise legacy even if to him the legacy is just done in terms of you know he doesn't want to explore anything with it anymore i know some people have wanted to see a sequel book written up and, you know, even though there's no book, they could always still do something in the future with Pennywise. They could always revisit and give us it. Chapter three, the actual third movie taking place 27 years after the events of the of the first of the second movie, I meant to say. And we could catch up with a new group of losers because I don't think by the time these new these losers we've already had now, they'd be elderly. So we I guess we could catch up with some new group of people and maybe these would be younger kids facing Pennywise or maybe a individual who Pennywise is stalking. They could always revisit that even though it's not based on Stephen King's source material. The reason I say they can always do that is because they actually can. From what I know, they, they, they can actually do that. It's just that I think that a lot of people would rather they don't if it's not based on source material you'd rather have a stephen king adaptation or a sequel to said adaptation based on source material just like how we eventually got a shining sequel that was still based on an actual shining sequel that was written by stephen king stephen king has not written a sequel to it so to a lot of people they would rather not have any of that done they would rather you continue to do stuff based off of the source material which at this point is just a lot of events that we've had alluded to 
in the movie that's the we know that the book is very much more detailed about the history of pennywise so you could do a lot of different things going out of that book and bringing them into light for this upcoming prequel series because in the movies they kind of just gloss over certain things but they could still do a lot of stuff from that source material from that actual book and bring it to life for the prequel series again my my best bet is hoping hoping we get to see something of the black spot i know some people might not say oh yeah i'm not watching this prequel series if stephen king's not going to have anything to do with it if he if he's not going to be hands-on in any way or not going to be doing anything with this project then he's then some people say i'm not going to watch it kind of like how people are saying they're not going to watch scream six because nev campbell isn't in it that's just how some people are but you know that's what he had to say about the upcoming prequel series and that's where i guess he stands with pennywise it sounds like pennywise is a done deal with him in the sense that he has no interest in exploring it anymore but he will always be it sounds like grateful at least for those that want to continue it and he'll be in support of what they have to do in the sense that okay he'll give his blessing and of course i would imagine he'll give his honest opinion to them if they offer him a chance to see this prequel series before it releases um i know stephen king has been very critical of some of the stuff he's uh, some of his adaptations in the past like i know the 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 biggest thing that really shocked me i don't know why i'm so shocked about it because I, I do see the the clear obvious differences between the book and the novel he he doesn't really seem to be a fan of the shiny he does seem to be more in line with what was done with dr sleep and i think that's because he has a lot more faith in mike flanagan adapting his work i just thought of something too what if mike flanagan were to do a take on it that's set in modern times even though it's not based on source material he could still base it off of the original novel and pull certain aspects from it but you know twist it up to do a sequel to and to the Muschietti two movies and call it it chapter three what if mike flanagan were to do that because i know a lot of people think mike flanagan is the best person adapting stephen king work right now but we'll see what happens with this eventual prequel series welcome to dairy when it releases if it even comes to fruition let me know all that let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video